All right, so we're just gonna get started with some JavaScript basics just to kind of show you how um, a couple of different things work. So we're gonna start with comments. So in JavaScript, it's valuable for me to put notes inside of code that sh I can leave like little, like, hey, this is what this means, right? So if you put a two forward slashes, that'll give you a single line comment. If you put a forward slash and an asterisk, and then close it out with an asterisk and a forward slash, then you can do a multi-line comment. It's kind of a place to put notes that are non-code, because like if I just start typing like anything else, like just random stuff, like it'll be interpreted as code, so you have to put in something to say, hey, this is not code. So that's what a comment does, right? Um, when you're setting up variables, there's, those are, we're gonna, you're gonna kind of see how those work. Um, here pretty soon in the series but like here's a number and then like bar name equals John All right so this is a number a string this is a boolean right so these are three of the common ones you're gonna run into and I'm actually just gonna show you right here cuz I didn't put them in so number string boolean so this could be true, but it could also be false. So you can you can write these functions to uh, run off of these um, variables. So like, hey, if logged in is true, then we can display all the content for the user. But if it's false, then we'll just not because they're not logged in. We don't want to show somebody something. Maybe maybe we do, maybe we don't. Um, there's these things called operators, and operators allow you to do uh, like inside of your conditional statements, you can say like, and, or, or not. Um, so like if I said, if 10 is not equal to nine, then say 10 is not equal to nine, right? Cool, so um, kind of went over the data types already. We forgot the object, so an object looks like this. It just has key value pairs inside of curly brackets, right? So this is the format you would set up a, an object. Uh, math is pretty straightforward. You're gonna do plus minus asterisk for multiply slash for divide, double asterisk for uh, whatever that does exponential multiplication, and um, yeah, forgot this one. What is this one? Anyhow, that's uh, another one you can do, and then increment and minus. But I'm gonna show you examples of these things. And if you need to figure out what these things are, Google is your friend or if you want to figure out how to use them. Uh, but when you say something you're trying to do out loud, it'll generally come to you like, oh, I need to multiply this, or I need to add this, or whatever, right? Um, and then here's some of these, uh, some more of these assignment operators, just uh, reiterated. And then the most interesting one of these is a triple equals, which means like true equals, which means I think it's like the type and the value are the same. So there you go. Um, yeah, so that was super technical, not really, but anyhow, that's just some basic JavaScript stuff that you can, um, take away with you that maybe adds a little bit of refinement to, uh, this course.